Hey guys, how's it going? We're back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna to talk to you about the player editor screen. So the player editor screen is very much like the old one. There's not much different to it. Um, there's the new injury here, but we're gonna go ahead and open a player that has some abilities so we can get more features. But um, we're gonna walk you through the player editor today. This is where you edit your players. So whenever you want to make a change to any players, you're going to want to double click on the roster. Um, you're going to want to go into roster or anywhere else you can get to them. There's plenty of places you can get to them, but you're going to end up landing in the player editor screen, which looks just like this. You have the player picture in the top left with their name, their bio information. You have their abilities up here, their, their overall, their core attributes, the team menus here in the top right now. And, um, and then you have all of the different things you can change for the player. You have their appearance. Um, if you're in offline mode, you can just change their name at will. And it will change. If you're in online mode, you have to click on this button here and it will open up a lookup uh, window here for you to look things up. This is the name, nickname, same thing. Uh, play by play, if you check play by play, you can click this and it'll be set to none. Or you can basically pick a name and it will be set to that name. Um, the photo is basically the photo that you see in the game, but also the the face that you see in the uh, inside the game on the player. So we have a whole new face editor here, face picker. And from here, what you can do is you can select any face that you want. Keep in mind, though, the faces are only going to be shown for the star players and then the generics that use the same star players faces, right? So if this guy's face, he's a silver, so he's a star. If we select Chuck Foreman for this guy, okay, or Barry Foster, let's say, um, then what happens is when you go to a generic player, if you set their face to, let's go to a generic player. If you go to Duran Hurd and you select, it'll tell you, this, has, this guy has a generic face. Please select a, a legend face if you don't want to see a generic face in the game, which I don't like seeing. So what you're going to want to do is select the Team Legends checkbox here. And what this does is it's going to open up a list of all of the legends on this team, basically the star players in this team, and you can select whatever face you want so that you can use their face. Okay? If you don't do this, then you're going to have a generic face, and it's going to look a little crappy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, but inside of here, you can actually search. You know, if you want to search for Troy... You can do that. It'll find Troy, you know, Aikman, Drayton. Um, you can reset the name back to the original one that he had, which was Duran Hurd. Um, and then you can select all the different types of things. Or you can do skin. You can do, you can do the skin. You know, you can pick only guys that are really, really dark. You can pick guys with just black hair. This is balding. This is bald. And it tells you right here if you hover over it. If you check this, it'll check them all, uncheck it, it unchecks them all. And then facial hair, same thing. Clean face, scruff, mustache, goatee, and beard. That's your face picker. Next thing you're going to want to do is your player type. You have different types of players you can select from. Your colleges, your star, the year's pro, date of birth, weight, height, body, muscle, face, etc. Okay. Now the face, remember, gets changed from here. Okay. So whenever you change, actually this doesn't really matter. When you change the face, it doesn't really do anything. That's not going to matter. What, what matters is the photo here. Okay. Um, you go down to equipment. Equipment has all of the um, pictures in the game, so you can actually see what equipment you're picking. Okay. If you want to see what leg pads, you know, you have. If you want to see the shoes, different colors. And what's new to the editor is if you have a black guy, you're going to see the black fit. You're going to see like, you know, a black model there. And if you have a white character or player, then you're going to actually see a white person's face. So it gives a little bit more detail. Um, I thought that was a nice touch so that you can at least get an idea of what your guy's going to look like. But it's just one white guy, one black guy. Okay. Um, going down to the attributes. Pretty self-explanatory. You're going to want to either type in or drag in and out the attributes. What's cool is this is a brand new um, window here that you can actually see what they're supposed to be for their, you know, for their different um, star levels, right? 
And if you click on any of these, what it will do, like I just click gold, it will give this guy the gold attributes for his position and for a gold star. But what this does is it gives you, this graph on the right gives you all the different values that, um, that you would get for each, for each star depending on the position. Now this guy's a kicker, so see it's gonna be different for a kicker, you know, in this case, if you were to go to a QB, let's say, then you're going to see different passing ratings, right? So if you go to uh, read coverage, you're going to see that a gold player has a 90, 75 for bronze, silver has 82, and 70 for none. Okay, so that's pretty important as a reference. But like I said, you can type it in yourself manually or you can uh, hit the presets and it will do it for you, okay? And here's where you have your abilities. This is pretty self-explanatory. It tells you a description when you hover over them, it tells you what they do. The, um, the orange highlighted ones are really the ones that I suggest that you would look at for the position. They change depending on what position you're in. And then, um, and you know, if you check all or uncheck, you know, you can basically check the different ones that you want and, um, you know, it will change and then we'll add them to the top here so you can see which ones you're adding in. And then you have your animations so you can actually see the different animations, throwing animations, play action style, and the, uh, the high step if you want to add a, add a high step to your player. And then you have your head slap and your get low. Now, if you were in um, the season mode, you're going to also see on the bottom here, you, and I'm going to show you that in a different video when we go through the season uh, stuff, you're going to see the career stats and the, and the season stats underneath here, but we'll get to that in another video. So this is the player editor, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. Last thing I didn't show you yet, though, was the health, um, the injury. Um, if you click on this button here, you're going to actually see the different statuses that you can change if you wanted to. You can't change what injury you have, but you can change the status and you can change the duration if you want to. Like if you're starting a brand new roster and you know a guy's out for three weeks in the real league, you can do that here and you can set him up. So that's brand new to the editor. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it made sense. Hit, hit that like button, subscribe. Let's keep this great game alive. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.